Boateng, you're looking very glamorous in your sparkly top. I haven't seen that for a wee while. Well, thanks, Norm. We're getting dressed up for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we are, aren't we? <laughs> so what are we talking about today, Tin? <gasps> Retirement. What they don't talk about. Yeah, and if you're new to our channel, we're Tina and Norm, and we talk all things retirement, travel, and quite a lot about Portugal. Yes, we do. And if you are new to our channel, uh, we would love you to subscribe and give us the thumbs up, because it really does help our channel and it gets out to a wider audience. Most people in the retirement space that are doing videos and talking about retirement, writing about retirement, they solely seem to concentrate on the financial aspects of retirement and making sure that you have enough money to retire. But the one thing that we wished we knew when we were in our 50s was what what the decline in your health will be like in the next 10 to 15 years. We have noticed as, as we get into our 60s, we're not as strong as we used to be, and perhaps mentally not as sharp as we used to be. <laughs> so we really want to touch on that today. And we've got a couple of stories to tell you. You know we love stories, 18. Yeah. Yes, we do. And the first story that we're going to tell you about is obviously us. Um, as you know, when we retired, um, we were 58 and 60. And one of the big things we really wanted to do was we wanted to travel, didn't we, Norm? We, so, we really did. Boy, the minute we sold the house, moved down here, we were on a big plan. We were going to travel everywhere. And that's what we did for the first five years prior to COVID. Mm -hmm. We went on trips and cruises, you name it. We went and we've got some fabulous memories, haven't we? <laughs> we took a big chunk yeah. out of the world by going to see it. <laughs> yeah, we did. And, and luckily we managed to see a lot uh, of did. those bucket list places. So we, we were very fortunate. But one thing we did find, didn't we, Norm, that now as we're moving and we are getting a little older, now we're 64 and 66, we're finding that it's things do happen. You do get a few more aches and pains and things that, oh, you maybe think twice about doing. Mm -hmm. And that 100% um, that energy that we had when we first started doing it is not quite there, is it, after a period of time? It, it seems after 65, uh, I'm experiencing that each year after 65 feels like five years when you're in your 50s or 40s. Mm -hmm. um, you do notice the aches and pains. I have regular med medical checkups and they're, they're finding the odd thing wrong with me. Nothing serious, but you, you're not as strong and you're not as vibrant as you used to be. And um, we really just wanted to bring that message to you, especially if you're in your 50s. Don't just be so focused on the money. Be focused on your health as well. And maybe use that time to get maybe more into shape, uh, maybe lose some weight, maybe gain some muscle, because it will really help you in those early years of retirement. And we have our second story, don't we? We have, we have the second story that we would like to tell you. Um, these, the, we know this couple, and uh, what happened with them was, which happens to a lot of people, he got offered early retirement. Uh, there was an element of downsizing. So he retired when he was 55 mm -hmm. from work. But his wife, who was just a few years younger than him, really enjoyed her work. So she wanted to stay working until she was 65 so that she would get the traditional retirement pension and finish her career at 65. She'd been brought up with that in her mind. 
The trouble is, um, this this person who retired early had to spend twelve years, basically on his own during the day. I know. And by the time that his wife became sixty-five, he had inherited um, a medical condition, which really started preventing him to um, to travel. Mm -hmm. And they had planned to travel, yeah. and they never actually did that. And part of what we're saying uh, is, if you do have this early retirement, the, the your partner really ought to retire too. If you want to maintain a strong relationship and maximize retirement opportunities, especially with failing health around the corner. Yeah, because basically we're saying that, and with lots of couples, um, there is one that's often younger than the other. So there we're is. saying if one is going to be eligible to retire or take early retirement, yet your partner is six or seven years behind mm -hmm. you, that one should consider taking it even a lot earlier so that you can both do things together while you have got that health and enjoy what you want to do. Now, we travel. Not everybody wants to travel. And we're yeah. saying, you know, some people are happy doing volunteer work, going golfing. And it doesn't... Doing, doing yeah, yard work, yeah. gardening, landscaping. It doesn't matter what it is no. you want to do. Um, just do it together while you have that time, isn't and, it? And, and while yeah. you have the energy. We, we've had a number of viewers mm -hmm. who have um, left comments uh, on our videos. Um, we recall one who has a partner nine years younger than him. Oh, yeah. Um, and really, if he waits uh, to, to retire, so if he retires at 60... Um, and the, his partner isn't ready to retire, then there's nine years that he has to wait. Yeah. But we're saying those are the most valuable years of your retirement. We keep saying this in our videos, you can't buy health. Yeah. And it, it's, it's like the egg timer that has the grains of sand running through <laughs> yeah. it. That's your health yeah. that's going in retirement. I mean, it's going through that timer, isn't it? <laughs> it is, just a grain at a time, but you start feeling it. So we're encouraging you, retire as a couple. If it means you're making sacrifices, maybe having to become more frugal, then it's worth it. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't get a retirement. No. If you have to put a plan in together um, before, say, your pensions and that kick in, mm -hmm. then just put together a plan to allow you to get that extra money so that you can retire early at either 55 or earlier. But just realize that once you mm -hmm. get to that 60, or as Norm says, particularly from 65 plus, things are going to start to change quite rapidly, aren't they? Yeah, yeah and, they are. Um, we just want everybody to sort of learn from this because this was something we didn't know no so we, we're giving you yeah. the opportunity to time travel and <laughs> yeah. to hear the reality that from 65 onwards um yeah. you know things start going wrong and maybe you start slowing down a bit um, now, we still anticipate traveling into our mid-70s. Yes, we do, don't One, we? <laughs> once this pandemic goes. <laughs> yeah, and we're still hopefully that maybe next winter, we're not going this winter, but hopefully next winter we're going to get back to traveling. We and, are. you know, we've got hopefully another at least four or five years to be able to travel. But after that, we might be just quite happy staying at home in the apartment and going to the trailer. We might not want to do the big international trips might no, we no not at all um, so really that was uh, our message and um, do think about health in retirement not just the money um, because it's equally as important as the money so thanks for watching yeah and we hope that everybody is staying safe and keeping well until the next time bye-bye bye-bye